Welcome to our investigation on sustainable plastics by clamshells. Enrolled for the Expo Theme Theater Mexico Virtual 2020 Material Science category. Arvin, Sophie, Jada, Matthias, and Heaton from Victoria Shanghai Academy. The exhibit a solution by water blossoms, chitosan bioplastic created by local food waste. Clamshells. Plastic waste and food waste is a dominant pollution factor towards our world. Every year, 8 million synthetic plastic waste escapes into the ocean, affecting 700 million organisms. 6 to 8 million mollusk shells are discarded by the seafood industry each year as non-edible food waste. The high consumption of clams globally opens a window of opportunity for the investigation on the viability and feasibility to create biodegradable plastics using shell waste to minimize the utilization of synthetic plastic materials for plastic creation. Our objective of the investigation is to solve environmental problems by creating a chaosan bioplastic, a material that we can further develop. We can successfully make a spoon by using the material we have evaluated by the physical properties in terms of the proportions of the ingredients and its utilization visibility to assess its capability to form products such as deposable plastics, colorates, and foams. In this investigation, we utilize the polymer found in exoskeletons of shells containing a natural polymer known as chitin, an excellent material for the plastic creation. Now, let's see how we start to create our Kyosan bioplastic spoon. In this creation, we will use clamshells and cornstarch, along with ethanolic acid and sodium hydroxide in the process to extract chitin from the clamshells to create the product. First, we apply clamshells from the dining table and put it in a blender. Measure the mass media user and electronic the electronic colors. Then pour it into the beaker. Then measure 10 milliliters of 0.5 mole ethanol acid to the measuring cylinder. And pour it into the beaker to extract chitin, a process called chemical demineralization. Still 0.5 mol sodium hydroxide is then added to remove residue protein from the shell, an alkalized treatment known as chemical deprotonization. Subsequently, the calcium acetate salts residue in kerosene can be separated via filtration. Since kerosene is fragile, an additional poly or cornstarch is added to enhance its frictional properties and mechanical strength to prevent it from falling apart, creating a plastic like complex. Lastly, it is microwave for a minute, giving activation energy to speed the formation of the intermolecular bonding in the polymer due to the directed endothermic energy, allowing the polymers to increase the fracture toughness. Since our ultimate goal is to apply the aforementioned procedures to produce sustainable products to be applied in our daily life, we conducted several tests to investigate the physical properties and the utilization feasibility in a commercial and industrialization setting. Tests include the fragile toughness, tensile strength, water hygroscopic behavior, shelf life of the product and duration of degradability, its ability to withstand different pH levels and its temperature resistance. We found that using 40 grams of shells to produce the bioplastic has the highest fragile toughness, which is able to withstand a 350 gram steel plug drop from 1 meter and has the highest tensile strength. The results from the two tests shows that adding more mass of the shells from longer chains of amino and hydroxyl functional groups, giving it a stronger network of intermolecular forces between adjacent polymer chains. The stronger attractive force by bonds allow it to withstand higher forces and give it a more rigid structure. The lowest permeability from the water hydroscopic ability test is a sample from 30 grams of clamshells. Having the strongest network of intermolecular hydrogen bonds, lowest moisture absorption, and water diffusion rate, an optimal proportion of hydroxide molecules to not cause polymer degradation. It doesn't shrink in mass after soaking, proving its high solubility in water. The plastic can degrade naturally from polymer chains to monosaccharide, through the hydrolyzing water molecules absorption. It has a remarkable ability to provide nutrition for the green beans to grow. 
Its wrapper rate of BK makes it ideal for disposable plastic and acts as an excellent fertilizer to replace 4,000 tons of toxic fertilizer and cutlery. Moreover, it can withstand under the conditions from pH 3 to pH 8 and from negative 10 degrees to its melting point, 280 degrees. The proportion to make the final product is 40 grams of clam shells along with 10 grams of cornstarch, 10 ml of vinegar, and 10 ml of sodium hydroxide. We hope that the high adaptability can provide a diverse range of applications in the material industrialization sector. We also hope that with our sustainable plastics, we can inspire people from around the globe to raise awareness for the environment and create a better world.